Well, you know, um, it's um, the Arctic Ocean uh, uh, should be ruled, and the the Arctic, the littoral states to the Arctic Ocean, has decided that UNCLOS, the law of the sea, shall apply to the Arctic Ocean. But of course, you have sea ice. What is sea ice? Is it a kind of territory? Is it just water in a different way? Uh, that hasn't been addressed. And in UNCLOS, uh, of all the 320 articles, just one deals with Arctic and polar affairs, and that's Article 1, 2, 3. Uh, uh, so um, UNCLOS is basically a, a blue ocean uh, um, convention, and not a convention that really takes uh, into account the peculiarities of the Arctic Ocean, in particular sea ice, but also the temperatures uh, and, and other polar characteristics. Well, I think that for all that, all countries that involve themselves in the Arctic, it's important or imperative, I would say, that they all, all have a circumpolar perspective uh, on Arctic developments. Because if they concentrate on their own sub-Arctic area, they may miss out in preserving the sustainability of the whole circumpolar Arctic. Well, first and foremost, uh, UNCLOS open ups for all countries of the world to take part because there are high seas in, in, in the Arctic Ocean, which implies that other countries not being literal states to the Arctic Ocean or being part of, of the Arctic 8 can utilize it. There is a deep seabed area that can be utilized in the long term. So this is both a regional question and a global question.